Well, here we go again. Another uh, superb day out. It's uh, Sunday. It looks like the uh, weather is going to keep nice for another week here. That's good. Considering there's a lot going on around here again. Uh, you know, it's Sunday. Yesterday was a write off. I'm trying to get stuff done. There's a high demand on me, as usual. So I decided to take a week off of work just because uh, there's so much demand that, uh, yeah, I just figured it would be a gr better idea just to do that. You know, just get stuff done around here. A little junk related areas loaded up with uh, a load of scrap already. There's still more to go in the truck. This I was going to put into the shop and start taking apart, but I decided to change my mind a little bit here and change course. So I'm cl uh, clearing the way for it. I'm going to pull that engine out. Or at least try to, or at least get it close to. Shouldn't take me too, too much uh, to get this out. It's been a while. It's going to be. T it's going to take me longer to get this uh, hood off without uh, injuring myself. Uh, so I might just, I don't know, figure out what I'm going to do there. But I'm going to start getting everything else apart and ready to go here. I want to pull the alternator. I want to pull some other stuff off of here. Some brackets. Take the intake. Uh, I don't think I got to worry about the exhaust. I'll probably just chop that from underneath because it's just easier and it's all rotten anyway so it doesn't really matter get some other stuff out of the way i've already pulled the rad out and stuff uh yeah get this thing out and uh get it ready to uh get the other engine back in it maybe i'll have this out up and running uh before winter or before uh it really snows and becomes very cold so uh, I figure about mid-December, I think, maybe. That's when I decide to cash, cash it in, shut her down for the winter. Yeah. This should be a beauty. So let's go. Well, now some are asking the question, why would I even bother with a car like this? Quite simply, nobody else is. I mean, this thing is pretty much the definition of offbeat hot rods. I mean, we all know what happens to these New Yorkers. I mean, nobody's really saving them. So I might as well. If somebody's got to save at least one or two, right? We all know what ends up with these happening with these cars. I'll end up in the demolition derby. So, I am doing this quite simply because I can. I mean, it's a big block car. It's fairly decent shape. Even the hoses aren't even that rotten. It's pretty impressive. You know, if it wasn't for the fact it was seized, it probably would run. And it's probably not even seized that bad, so. So I'm thinking that's going to be an easy fix. Once I get this thing out, we'll be able to figure out what happened. Not that it matters. I have the other engine sitting there right now, ready to go anyways. So, like I said, this, Hulk, this big Hulk is coming out, and uh, we'll switch things over and get the other Hulk in. Hey. Thermal quad.
whole time I've owned this car. Ever, ever. I never did look to see if there's anything in here. Let's find out, shall we? Shall we? That means there's a good possibility the brake system's good. Although I would definitely flush that out. That is uh, definitely not the right color. Still, that is impressive. Considering how long this car has been sitting around for. Uh, Alright, cool. Man, oh man, look at the size of that pump. It's huge. That's what it used to run AC with. I heard of people converting these over to uh, air pumps, pump tires up with. Never ever seen it done though. I've heard of it. But, you know, whatever. But, you know, good old memories are coming back to me. Yeah, see this here? Nice big bracket, lots of bolts holding it together. I totally forgot. And it just came back to me. That this does not come off without taking this thing off. Good luck, because there's a bolt right here. Right behind it. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen. So, it means this is coming out with that attached. Man, look at this. Look how clean it is in here. Usually these things are all rotten or cracked or something in here. It's still pretty good. Uh, those are clean, which is unheard of. But, yeah, this thing's looking good. Looking better and better every time I look at it. Hmm. Possibility of a well-maintained car. Of course, i got to go through all the vacuum lines now, because this is all, all your AC stuff, and uh, HVAC was all done by vacuum back in the day. Not uh, electronic like it is now, so... Eventually all that will have to go get gone through and make sure there's no holes or see somebody's already patched it once already. Yeah, other than that, yeah. This is uh, almost uh, time to come out. This is another thing that was shocker. These bolts came out. No problem. They weren't even seized in or nothing. That was impressive. That's almost unheard of. But, yeah, there you go. 400, they're almost ready to come out. Mm -hmm. But that's all I have. That's all the time I have for today. Got to pack up and move on to the next uh, thing and carry on with everything else I'm doing. So I'll just clean the tools up here a bit. And then that's it. I'm out of here. Till tomorrow. Well, normally I would just pick this hood up, lift it off myself, but due to the fact that I'm getting old and body parts are starting to not uh, work the way they should, uh, I'm going to have to re-strategize my strategy. But regardless, regardless of anything, uh, I can get out of the sun, maybe we'll get a better look at that. Walk over here. Now what I usually do is I'll take a marker and I'll mark this right in here. That way I know where it goes afterwards. Loosen your bolts. And you must put something here in between the hood and the windshield so you don't break your windshield. You know, I've done it on cars that I really didn't care about so it didn't matter. But if you want to protect your windshield, you got to protect the windshield, right? And this windshield's good. So I want to leave it that way. But yeah, 
So I'm not too sure how I'm going to do this, seeing how there's nobody real, really around here right now. Uh, so, yeah. I might just see about putting a strap on it and maybe using the, uh, using the crane. That might be a good idea. That might work. We'll see. Here we go. Getting stuff done. Got the hood off. I was showing you how I got the hood off with the crane, but... The battery went dead in the phone for some reason. A little bit odd. But... Regardless... Let's take it for a tour underneath. Oh my god. Why I bought this thing. Boards are minty. Frame is minty. Put the passenger side floorboard. Look at that. It's not even soft. It's not even soft. I mean, even the exhaust is still in pretty good shape. Yeah. I mean, I might find a little bit of a little bit here and there, but all in all, she's pretty solid. place that there's actually any kind of significant uh, surface rust is in the very very back uh, around the trunk area other than that like that's about as worse as it's gonna it is under here it's pretty savable you know pretty clean even the inner rockers are in pretty good shape but uh, yeah started taking the tranny mount off and I noticed that something shifted and I was like well I better just stop right there because we got torsion bars here so I'm not too sure if that has to stay together or what I don't really need to take it apart but we'll just leave it also this fancy doodad thing I'm so used to them being a screw off type I'm not sure what this this type is I tried to pull on it a few times there and uh, she don't want to come out so I just uh Took the cable and then screwed it from the uh, from the uh, cruise control, and now I'm just going to pull it with the cable on it. Good enough. And uh, mount is off, ready to go here. Shifter linkages are good, and that's off. More mounts are all loose, ready to go. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna lift this thing out of here. Let's do it. Well, good news is, Jinjin is out. Uh, bright side, all the oil's uh, leaked out of it. Uh, she landed pretty good. I don't see too, too much damage. I think the uh, tail shaft took all the shot. So I guess I'm going to have to get another one of those, unfortunately. So there will be no burnouts this year. I think what happened is I didn't have the uh, leg you know, in, locked in place as much as it should have been. 
because uh, this here is actually a big unit as you can see and so it's a little bit too wide to get underneath the uh, small cars and trucks it's actually meant to be underneath like a I don't know a rig or something and you can see that this here this leg is kind of bent so it tends to shoot this that way and then it'll bring this whole thing in so it started getting a little bit straight on me and with the weight like you can see it's kind of sitting crooked right now anyways that's just the way it is I'm gonna have to do something about this leg put some shims in it or something because this is uh, starting to become a bit too much of a ha uh, hassle and you know safety issue you know when, when it's locked in and you got a lot of weight on it usually it doesn't move especially when you got the weight on it usually it doesn't go sliding over but yes it happened to do that this time around uh but other than that yeah it was a little bit too high i was thinking about lowering the car probably a good thing i didn't because that could have landed on top of me that would not have been good but without further ado i guess while it's upside down i'll take the uh exhaust off take a few other things off and uh get this engine turned around Well, it's not too bad. Looks like the valve covers and the heat riser took the most shot. It took on most of the damage. Uh, this one here, it got a little dent on there, but it's not too bad. It's draining a little more oil out of her. Let's see what else I can uh, do on this end. Oh yeah, it's bent too, but you can straighten that. That's nothing. Yeah, there you go. Big thud. Well, all that was easy enough. Came off like nothing. Even the rear main seal was still fine. It wasn't even leaking there. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Why did this engine seize? Doesn't seem to be any rust there. Doesn't seem to be any rust in the... Uh, in the exhaust either so that's got me wondering why this thing is seized up hmm but I think that's going to be for another episode a uh, different time because uh, one of two reasons one eh, I got other things to do uh, for two I gotta go get another engine hoist or engine uh, engine uh, dolly thingy thingamajiggy to put the uh, engine on to at least I think it was, yeah an engine stand right engine stand we'll call it that but yeah as you can see some crushed here no damage to uh, the uh, exhaust at all which is impressive but uh, both valve covers it's no big deal I got a better set or two or five up here anyway so there you go we are going to take another adventure and take this thing apart and see why it's seized. Uh, on the next exciting episode of uh, New Yorker. New Yorker!